Okay, so <clears throat> I think the title of my talk is a bit different for from what we in the program, but I've changed it to be a bit more informal. So the point of this talk is about, about systematic review screening automation, and particularly when is it safe to stop screening without changing the results and conclusions of your systematic review. So the thing is that the previous research on screening automation has focused almost entirely on recall. So, so, so you need to find almost all the studies. And the, the point we're trying to make is this is not what you should care about. What you should care about is to find enough studies. You need to care about finding an unbiased sample of studies and you must do this prospectively because, because otherwise you can't use it in, 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 a systematic, in an ongoing systematic review. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of trying to slay holy cows here. So, so, so pre previous screen automation is trying to find all, all studies. And, uh, and, but in real life, you can have systematic reviews which really hinge on finding a, sing a single study. So you can have a single study which is more important and more valuable than all the other studies combined. And if you missed this study, well, then, then your meta-analysis is screwed. So you, need, is, so you might need to find a certain subset of the, 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 the studies. And uh, the real takeaway message here is that some studies are going to be redundant. And uh, what we're trying to do is use cumulative meta-analysis to, to find the point in the screening when studies become redundant. So at this point, further studies are not going to tell you anything. They're just going to confirm what you already know. And uh, by stopping at this point, you essentially get the same meta-analysis you're not going to get the, the, the exact numerical results, but you're going to get forest plots that uh, look essentially the same <coughs> as they would otherwise. And uh, just a shameless plug, but we are also going to present this at AMIA, uh, so sorry, co 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 colloquium next week, this, uh, and we're going to present this AMIA in November. So if you are if you happen to be in the area, come listen to us. Or if you're not going, tell your friends and family to come listen to us. And uh, this project was brought to you by the European Union's Horizon 2020, <laughs> which means I have to show you this slide because it says so in a grant agreement. <laughs> and that's all for me.